Happy Easter. Happy Easter, everyone. We're going to eat junk. Yes, indeed. Um, we picked up some of the typical Easter treats. Everything easily accessible via good old CVS. All the stuff that was basically on sale. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're starting with a, a standard. A standard that's not my favorite, the old fashioned Peeps. I love a good marshmallow, mm -hmm. and I don't think Peeps are a good marshmallow. No. But it's also been a very long time since I've had one, so yeah. maybe my opinion will change. Yeah. I feel like the most recent Peeps related content I've seen was that uh, person that made wine out of like a whole thing of like old Peeps. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what was going around a while ago. Yeah. Is this not a tweet, even though it's X? Ooh. We're allowed to dead name Twitter. Mm. It's like a Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> this feels wrong. <laughs> All right. All right, peep me up. Peep me up before you go, go. Yeah, I don't like the sugar coating. No. The marshmallow is fine. The yellow, I don't mm. like the taste of. I would rather take a nude peep over this any day of the week. <laughs> a bare guts peep. Mm -hmm. In college, there was like a brief craze for peeps jewelry. It was like mm. some, not, I don't even remember the designer, but somebody made like these awesome like peeps necklaces that mm. were like, looked like the peeps and the texture was right they were like made out of like metal and stuff like that and i remember wanting one real bad mm. so i always felt that the, the 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 bunnies were better than the ducks oh sure mm -hmm. i have the same problem with them mm -hmm. but maybe that is a more conducive shape mm -hmm. i'm of the opinion that you know sometimes shape will dictate if the taste is better because i think we both universally agreed that the uh mm -hmm. we both love reese's but like the reese's holiday shapes mm -hmm. are always superior than like the regular boring ones which we may get to in a moment mm -hmm. cleansing the palate i think it's wise <laughs> um it's probably uh i mean it could just be that the bunnies have less surface area because they don't have the head sticking up so the bunnies probably have less yellow sugar on them than mm -hmm. the um but we got one more thing in peep world that i'm curious about oh lord peep chocolate covered marshmallows which maybe, because it's covered in chocolate, maybe won't have the yellow problem. Yeah. That, uh... Because I feel like the pink makes it a little easier to, like, let down to, like, the bunnies. Well, I, I, I just mean the texture. It won't have the mm -hmm. texture issue of a peep that I don't love. Well, <laughs> mine is already uh, crumbling. Do, 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 do. Yellow on the inside. That is yellow marshmallow. Yeah. It's, it's pure... I'm sure that's just dyed so that, mm -hmm. to distinguish it, between a peep and just any other chocolate-covered marshmallow. I feel like I'm committing an act of cannibalism right now, and I can't explain why. Are you secretly three chocolate-covered peeps in a trench coat? Uh, six, but who's counting? I mean, I think this is better. It doesn't have the texture of the yellow sugar. It's clearly yeah. just, like, a yellow-colored marshmallow. Um, I've still had better chocolate-covered marshmallows. Yeah, no. It's a pretty cheap marshmallow on the inside. I always feel like Easter candy, kind of like, of holiday-related rel candy things, it was always a letdown. Mm. You have, like, I feel like you have, like, the, the main star of the show, which is, you know, the Easter bunny that you you bite the ears off and, you know, mm -hmm. cannibalize the rest of the body. And, like, the, the Cadbury eggs, which are, you know, my universal favorite. Like, I will say Cadbury eggs are my favorite candy. When they started introducing, like, the green slime ones in Halloween, I was so jazzed. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, I have, like, two opportunities <laughs> over here. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's fine. It is exactly fine. Mm -hmm. But... We have to compare it to... Is there another challenger? The Russell Stover chocolate-colored ah. marshmallow. So Dave bought two of some of these and one of some others. That one I only bought one of, so we're yeah. each going to have to take a bite. That is that is A-OK -okay with me. Because I'm not a big fan of marshmallow chocolate things, just because, mm. again, I have a texture thing. Already superior. I'm not surprised. Because I feel like this is much more in Russell Stover's wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's a good gooey marshmallow. Mm -hmm. This is the better version. Yeah. It's almost like a little coconutty, too, which gives it, like, a little more of an interesting... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's fluffier. Mm -hmm. It's it's um not colored yellow. Mm -hmm. I just realized you probably should apologize to Haley personally because of her misophonia. So, friends, sorry she, about that. She already knows not to watch our <laughs> trying food vlogs, even though she was on one of them. <laughs> Yeah, better significantly by a lot. Russell Stover probably has the gold standard, mm -hmm. as far as I know, of a chocolate covered marshmallow. Yeah. If you know of a better brand, let me know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and 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 when we say better brand, yeah, include your fancy indie brands, but like <laughs> you know, we're we purposely got stuff that anybody could find at stuff that's findable, you know, yeah. stuff that is in the clearance aisle, exactly. Stuff that 
after you're watching this today will be deeply discounted. Off. Yeah. Remember how lucky we were a few years ago when our CVS still had Easter Reese's eggs like all the way through like June. It was so good. It we we, we so just good. kept kept getting more and putting mm -hmm. them in the freezer. Yeah. Which um the hot tip for folks who have never tried this, the uh, Cadbury well really any chocolate in the freezer for a little bit, ideally a filled chocolate mm. like a peanut butter or a we creme egg. We we keep Reese's in the freezer mm -hmm. with the Oreos. Yeah, and Oreos fresh out of the freezer is the way to go. Mm -hmm. I recently did something recently with the frozen Oreo, which like I put a little bit of peanut butter on there too. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Just like the Parent Trap remake. Yeah, exactly. See, friends, this is what happens when you hit your mid thirties. You <laughs> just kind of turn into this. <laughs> turn into <laughs> embrace, fully embrace this. You stop hiding this exactly. But yeah, this is fluffity. Mm -hmm. It's puffity. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Now I need to drink 150 glasses of melonade. <laughs> <laughs> Dave is setting up his station now in order to prepare for the next course. Mm -hmm. Recently, a comparable amount of sugar was fed to our niece, and she went to the moon and back. So we'll see what it does to our 30-something-year-old butts. All right. Well, this one is mostly perfunctory, mm -hmm. but as discussed, yes, we prefer, like, we, we love the holiday-shaped Reese's mm -hmm. and... Even among those, egg may be the best shape. Yes. It's like, you got egg, you got tree, you got pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Heart's the lowest for me, even though I feel like it's the most, it's the closest to egg, though. They're all, they're all pretty similar. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, like, I never complain about any of them. It's the minor variations, though. Thank you. Mmm. See, it's so much fluffier than just a regular Reese's mm -hmm. cup. It's not as, um... Stiff. The chocolate is not as stiff, so it's like a softer bite. Yeah. My only desire mm -hmm. is that they one day come out with eggs that have the crunchy peanut butter in there, just mm -hmm. to have that like a little textural entrance. <laughs> well, you know how they've like recently, as far as I know, but it might have been like ten years ago at this point it started, but it feels like a recent development where they have like the big Reese's cups that have mm -hmm. the Reese's pieces in them. Mm -hmm. That would be an interesting, I think, if they started yeah. doing these seasonal ones with Reese's pieces. Or, or like, or pretzels mm -hmm. or whatever. All the other variations they've been doing. Caramel. The potato chip one was kind of weird. The potato chip one was odd. Yeah. It worked better than I thought it would, well, but it was still... It's like salt and chocolate are a natural combination just in mm -hmm. of itself, but like, yeah. You want to kill that? Ah. <laughs> not safe for <laughs> We're not pivoting to an OnlyFans yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> we'll see how desperate we get. Mm -hmm. Similarly, the white chocolate variation. This one is not my favorite. I'm mm. not a white chocolate person. I really like white chocolate. Like, my go-to coffee drink is a white chocolate mocha. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think these are better than the regular chocolate ones. There are still, I think, some in their freezer from last year that are still... Quite possibly. Yeah. But I, I like that they exist as, like, I, I like that both variations exist. It does look more like the traditional egg shape, you know. <laughs> You've had them before. You don't have to try a bite of this if you don't want well, to. I'll take a little one. The peanut butter really does the heavy lifting anyway. Yeah. Like, I don't even really notice the white chocolate. I just notice it that's less like, than I notice the chocolate on the regular it's, one. It's, it's, that's really the thing. It's like, it's not that, it, like, I notice white chocolate. It's just that it feels so much, like, the, the, the consistency is the same throughout. And even though it's, like, slightly different, you have that little flavor of, like, chocolate that just, like, Mm -hmm. makes it feel like, oh, there's two things I'm biting into, not just, like, one similar bite. Yeah, this one feels much more like you're just eating a glob of peanut butter with, like, a faint bit of sugar. Yes. It's not a terrible thing to do from time to time, mm -hmm. but we're definitely gonna need a salad after this. We went to Boysenberry Fest today mm -hmm. and tried to get a salad first thing, mm -hmm. and they were sold out. So we had fried sh schmata all day. <laughs> but now, mm -hmm. a different shape of Reese's egg. Yes. And I don't know if I've ever actually tried these ones. I feel like I must have, but I have no memory of love what they're like. How sweaty the chocolate is already. I'm just trying to get the foil off because I do not want to bite into that with my fillings. They've printed the branding on these yeah. ones. I like to pretend to crack it in my mouth. Mm -hmm. The candy shell on this one is much closer to the texture of a traditional Reese's cup. Mm -hmm. Got more of that stiffness. And the peanut butter on the inside is not quite as um, soft. Of the chocolate things we've had mm -hmm. that are not chocolate, like encased marshmallow, mm -hmm. this is possibly my least favorite, but it's not like bad, don't buy. It's just kind of like... It's definitely not bad. Uh, the ratios feel off. Mm -hmm. It seems like this only exists to be like something that fits in a more like 
candy egg filled Easter basket. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know why I was like I feel like this like these would go perfect in like Christmas stockings for some reason. Like mm -hmm. they're perfectly shaped for the Tobians. For when you're combining Christmas and Easter into a single holiday. Exactly. Well, there's, there's Christmas in July, right? Well, if Christmas can be July. Easter can be in September. So there. The birth shifts, so the resurrection also shifts. Yeah, exactly. I also, My fingers are very greasy yeah. now. I also learned recently that this is like the first time ever that like Easter. Ramadan, uh, Holy, and Purim are mm -hmm. all in like the same mm -hmm. window. Like all the Holy Weeks are overlapping, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Yeah. Well, really, the reason those <laughs> egg shapes exist is because is to eggs. fit alongside these egg shapes, really, the aforementioned Cadbury cream eggs. He's really trying to bite for. Oh, you are so good. I know we saved you from the best for last, but well, second to last. Second to last. Because we got to go out with the big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's the same shell. <laughs> you you gotta love it, man. And especially like that little, I don't know why, like the little star shape in there. I always do love. Also, I might have just said the Reese's eggs were to compete with, but I'm pretty sure they've been advertising them together, so it's not mm -hmm. so much competition as uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Look at I that love goo. That goo and that yellow and white to make it look like they actually are biting into <laughs> an unborn chicken. Maybe this is for OnlyFans. <laughs> mm. That's really what we get our OnlyFans for is just do food reviews on that one. But just suggestive looking foods. It's just dripping in this one. Happy Easter, everyone. <laughs> I honestly don't know if I like this better than the similar shaped Reese's egg. It's just that I'm not comparing this to a different sh mm -hmm. Like the Reese's egg I was comparing to the other Reese's eggs, but like a Cadbury cream egg is its own entity. Mm -hmm. And I only compare it to itself. Well, and I always remember the XKCD about, uh, Cadbury cream eggs and cans of soda. Mm. The Cadbury cream eggs are especially good slash dangerous to freeze. They Those can really break your teeth if you do not um, enter incorrectly. Yeah, because the this kind of Reese's eggs, even when they're frozen, they still maintain mm. a softness to them. Yes. But the shell of the Cadbury cream egg is not guaranteed to maintain any sort of softness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So, last. Last. Not least. We'll see if it's least. We're back to the world of Reese's. Mm-hmm. Because we couldn't let today go by without finishing up a bunny. I say as uh, Roku <laughs> Channel advertises that Space Jam, the original, is free on Roku Channel. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking at a different bunny. Mm -hmm. Because Hasloff cares so little about Looney Tunes movies, he'll just dump them for free on Roku Channel. I do not care for that man. Mm. It is well documented what he did to uh, to your old town. It's just a silver spring. Rest in pieces. Speaking, Reese's pieces. <laughs> speaking of pieces, Reese's peanut butter bunny. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's like right right there in the yeah. logo. Like it doesn't say cup, it just says bunny. But also the foil is like kind of separated. Just gotta keep them separated. Mm -hmm. So so were, were you an, an ears off first kind of person or were you? I feel like I was, but I also like the 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 big bunny was never like what I really went for mm -hmm. because of the same decision paralysis that led to me still not using my guest choice on Escape from Vault Disney. I sometimes didn't start the bunny until it had already spoiled and then just never ate the chocolate bunny. Mm. But this one we're eating now. Do you want to start with the ears? Oh, do a little nibble. It tastes exactly like the egg. This is interesting because it's got the harder chocolate shell of like the round egg mm -hmm. and the Reese's <laughs> cup. But the peanut butter texture is a little closer to, to, the, to the flat egg. Mm -hmm. And it's clearly a bunny that goes flat, like on a plate. It's not yeah. a stand-up bunny. Yeah, it's not hollow. I feel like that's kind of like the, the classic thing, though, is like it's the hollow rabbit as opposed to the full Yeah, rabbit. the hollow rabbit, which would sometimes have like little bits of like something rattling around in there. Mm. But yeah, it's like they combined the two eggs and then just made it way too big. Yeah. I think I'm good on Reese's for a while. I was going to say, <laughs> I like it. I'm not going to finish it mm -mm. right now. You'll go in the freezer. Yeah. A later date. Fortunately, the foil is mostly still intact. Yeah. My fingers are, uh... <laughs> Just... There were so many other candies we could have tried. Mm -hmm. Like, traditions of the season mm -hmm. that we could have gone with. By the time you're watching this, we've probably been reminded of some, as we have uh, Easter at my family's yep. house. And some that didn't even cross our minds. So I guess this is where we make it audience interactive. What's your favorite Easter treat? Yeah. And... Should we eat it next year? Yes. Because Easter is always going to fall on a Sunday, so I'm always going to have a video come out on Easter. It just usually doesn't end up being Easter themed. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you're watching this secretly in church, spoiler alert, he comes back. What? Have you been keeping this from me the whole time? <laughs> <laughs>